In this tutorial, we're going to open up sound files and use them in our pure data patches. And to open up sound files, we need some new objects that deal with files in pure data. One of these first files objects is the open panel object. As we can see, we've just got one inlet and one outlet. And then we're going to bring the outlet of that into a message box. And what I'm going to write in that message box is the word open and a variable $1. I'm going to join the outlet from the open panel into the open message box. And now I'm going to create a new object called read sound file. And I'll put that below the open message box. So read sound file, I can just go read SF. Because it deals with waves, I need to put a tilde on that as well. I'm going to join the outlet of the open message box into the inlet of the read sound file object. And underneath that, we're going to put the digital to analog converter object. And we've seen that before. And I'm going to join the inlet to the right and the left inlets of that object. Now to fire off the open panel, uh, I need to put a bang object up near the top here. And that will trigger the open panel to open. Lastly, once the open panel opens and we choose the file, that will take the file path and will pass it into the open message box. And that's what the $1 variable is there for. The $1 variable holds that file path. And then when the open $1 variable gets passed to read sound file object, we'll need a message to be passed into the read sound file object to actually play that object because it doesn't play automatically. So a handy way of doing that is just we'll put in a message box and we'll put in the number one to it. And we'll drag the outlet of that to the inlet of the read sound file object. Let's try it out and see how we get on. So I'm going to run, I'm going to turn on my audio, and I'm going to click open. And let's open up a sound file. Waves are generally very good for pure data. And I'm going to open that. You can see nothing happens just yet, but the file path has been read. It's been passed into the open message box and that's been passed into the read sound file object and now if I click on the message box one it plays the sound file and that's how to open up a sound file into pure data and to play it in the pure data patch